Hello viewers, this video is about the Nernst potential. At the end of this video we should be able to know about the following questions. What is the Nernst potential? What is the Nernst equation? How the Nernst equation is derived? Why do we need to know about Nernst potential? How much voltage is generated before net potassium sodium chloride movement stop? The concentration of which iron is more important to remember? What happens with the resting membrane potential of the cell when there is hyper and hypokalemia? From very basic, starting from the hypothetical nucleated cell. According to evolution theory the life is started from ocean salty water. Actually when the life is started there were unicellular organisms which were dipped into the salty water. So every cell in the human body having the salty water around it that is called extracellular fluid, ECF means the cell is constantly keeping sodium all the time outside. Situation is like that the cell is a bag of potassium which is floating in the sea of extracellular fluid rich in sodium. For this purpose very specific gene is located in the chromosomes of almost every cell which synthesizes a special protein called sodium potassium AT page which is to be expressed on cell membrane. The sodium potassium AT page with the help of ATP keeps on throwing 3 sodium outside and concentrating 2 potassium inside in spite of the fact that lot of sodium is outside. It means it is pumping sodium and potassium against the concentration gradient with the help of ATP. This pump is also called electrogenic pump 25% of energy is utilized by this pump. As a result, net cations are lost, leaving anions behind. The potential which is generated by this transporter is only 4 mV. If we apply voltmeter on the resting cell membrane the voltage will be minus 90 mV. Then what is the reason which generate the remaining potential? At resting condition the cell is permeable to potassium ions and impermeable to sodium ions. This permeability is due the presence of leaky potassium channels. As it is known to us that the concentration of potassium inside the cell is 142 milli equivalent per liter and outside is 4 milli equivalent per liter. So the potassium ions move from inside to outside through the potassium leaky channels. The movement of potassium ions from inside to outside leave behind anions which create negativity inside called diffusion potential due to potassium. This electronegativity inside the cell opposes the net diffusion of the cations to outside. The potential at which the net diffusion of potassium is stopped is called the equilibrium or Nernst potential of potassium. The diffusion potential level across a membrane that exactly opposes the net diffusion of a particular univalent ion through the membrane is called the Nernst potential. What is the magnitude of the potential is calculated by the Nernst equation. The magnitude of this Nernst potential is determined by the ratio of the concentrations of that specific ion on the two sides of the membrane. The greater this ratio, the greater the tendency for the ion to diffuse in one direction. And therefore the greater the Nernst potential required to prevent additional net diffusion. The following equation, called the Nernst equation, can be used to calculate the Nernst potential for any univalent ion at normal body temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius. Let us assume in this diagram, if this cell is permeable to potassium and potassium is not a charge molecule. The concentration of potassium is more inside than outside so the potassium ions start moving outside till it equilibrate on both sides. But actually it does not happen because potassium ion is a charge molecule. It does not follow the simple diffusion. The rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the concentration of the ion. It seems like to the facilitated diffusion in which Vmax is present. To calculate the Nernst potential for potassium, let us assume the condition in which the cell membrane is permeable to only for potassium ions not to other ions. The concentration of potassium is 142 milli equivalent per liter inside and 4 milli equivalent per liter outside. As we know that the cations are attached to anions in intracellular fluid. When the cations, potassium, are leaking from the leaky channels they leave behind anions in intracellular fluid. These left anions are responsible for the negativity inside the cell membrane. As the potassium leaves the intracellular fluid negativity is increases inside which prevent the potassium ion to go out in extracellular fluid. 
This electrical gradient which is developed by anions inside the intracellular fluid is equals to concentration gradient of the potassium ion which push the potassium ions outside, opposes the net movement of the potassium to go out. This is called equilibrium potential for potassium ion or Nernst potential that will come about minus 94 millivolt. How this value is calculated? This is calculated by Nernst equation. In various books it is written like this where E is equilibrium potential for iron. R is gas constant. T is absolute temperature. Z is valence of iron. F is Faraday number and ratio of concentration of iron inside and outside. But in Guyton and a Hall textbook of medical physiology it is simplified as the, the circled part is converted into plus or minus 61 log. If we put the concentrations of the potassium ion in the formula that will be solved as minus 94 millivolt that is the Nernst potential for potassium ion inside the cell. In another assumption if the cell membrane is permeable only for sodium ion. As known that the concentration of sodium ion outside is more than inside. The movement of sodium ion will be inward. This movement increases the positivity of the internal environment. How much is the positivity can be calculated from Nernst equation. That come about plus 61 millivolt. In case of chloride ion the Nernst potential would be 70 millivolt. This Nernst potential for chloride ion does not play significant role in resting membrane potential. These are the values of Nernst potential of potassium sodium chloride when the cell is permeable to only for one ion. When a membrane is permeable to several different ions. The diffusion potential that develops depends on three factors. 1. The polarity of the electrical charge of each ion. 2. The permeability of the membrane. P. To each ion. And 3. The concentrations. C. Of the respective ions on the inside. I. And outside. O. Of the membrane. Thus, the following formula, called the Goldman equation, or the Goldman-Hodgkin-Katz equation, gives the calculated membrane potential on the inside of the membrane when two univalent positive ions, sodium and potassium, and one univalent negative ion, chloride, are involved. Reference books are as follows. Dear viewers, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel named as Jatendra Shekhar for more videos, and don't forget to like and share. Thanks for watching.